Wednesday week for 30 minute recovery <coughs> or aerobic cross training what I done was yoga tonight really needed to stretch after yesterday's <coughs> yesterday's uh, run what was it What's that's that one where it increases threshold run so 45 minute total and then 5 minute going flat out with 2 minute sort of recovery and then doing it again and oh, just it was the first run I've had in this training session where everything just felt and went wrong just nothing I couldn't get any rhythm going I couldn't feel comfortable I felt <coughs> I got pushed for time I squished it in didn't manage to get up in the morning to go on it um, and then I had to squish it in between um, a, a Skype session and um, you know in the evening and literally literally just had time to do it so that was like in the back of my mind and just it was dark in Preston Park running sort of not my usual sort of route because I don't usually run in the dark there and just felt it felt awful that run it really did my body didn't want to do what I was telling it to do um, yeah not a, not a good not a good session um, Monday was fine I went on it was a cross train after cross train come recovery after a long run so that was a that was a, a cycle up um, zigzagging up some hills and then up ditching rise to the A27 and back um, so that was all good and yeah tonight's yoga was really needed it stretched all the in, inner parts of my legs out and stuff found a really good 30 minute thing on YouTube to do which I'll, uh, I'll link in up here and yeah the guy spoke a bit fast but it was good I really feel nice stretch and you know, nice nice stretch going on and feel a lot more a lot more flexible as a result of it already so uh, yeah hope the week gets better though Saturday morning really uh, crappy weather it's the first proper rain I've had to run in <laughs> and uh, yeah this it's today 45 minutes continuous uphills with four six minute intense running uphill so it wasn't too bad I mean, it's after the rest day so um feels better than it did on Thursday um and yeah but compared to a couple of weeks back I went down the same sort of course at the back of Preston Park Station compared to a couple of weeks ago that was a lot a lot harder I can really feel just everything is aching you know even after a rest day um, you know if, in a good way I think you know but, I def but yeah, even regardless of that I felt a lot stronger like I was doing those laps a lot quicker than I was when I started for sure um, but yeah this week's been tough really tough got a few of the Timings, um, just wrong, and I should be going. You know, when I should be going out for a run. But it's just even. It's just hard to fit in running every every day. Um, and where well, I forget what day it was. Tuesday. Tuesday, I think, was the worst one. It was just awful run. Just mentally wasn't was in the wrong space for that. Just I just felt rushed, and then everything felt like hard work so but I could have slept a lot longer this morning um, but I'm glad I got to well, I don't have to I'm going up to Croydon for a mate's 40th birthday and uh, really looking forward to that I wanted to get my run in and out of the way and I uh, wanted to hopefully have a bit of time beforehand so with that let's drink up and get going just Got in from Sunday's 90 minute very wet run. Um, this is how I'm, I am. I went through the mud. My feet are absolutely soaking. And. Uh, there's shoes everywhere. Man. And. Uh,
pretty consistent rain. I wouldn't say heavy rain for England, but but pretty pretty solid. Pretty pretty good solid rain. Uh, let's get out of these. Um, so these yeah these shoes that I bought. Six. I'm coming up here. So that's a good 90 minute run. Right, so these, these shoes I got just before the winter sort of properly came to run there. Absolutely brilliant. Really put them through their paces. They've got a nice quick release here. This is by far the muddiest and caked in crap and wet the bean. They've got mud all inside as well because it was uh, really, really quite. Miserable. That was that's like typical time. Imagine the UK on the worst weather day, where it's just it's not raining like heavy, heavy. It's enough to totally stop all activity outside, but it's just constant. And that's uh, it's only been raining for a long time because very. It's just there's just standing water up where I went. So I, I went up to the top of Ditchling Road and then into right the top of. Um, not as far as Ditching Beacon, but sort of the woods just before Ditching Beacon and stuff. And basically, ran in the woods and uh, enjoyed, and really enjoyed being up there. Um, this coat is the first time I've put this on. Really used it, I've had it in my bag a couple of times for um, for cycling and stuff. But it was I knew I was going to get absolutely soaked so I didn't wear it for waterproof. This is a thin throwaway waterproof that I got from doing stewarding at the Brighton Marathon last year so it's actually been used properly and yeah I mean, the first 20 minutes was a bit harsh because it was just, just keep obviously keeping my heat in but then once I got into some really exposed weather I was really thankful that I was wearing that And yeah, I took this with me. Oh, yeah, Thanks. Thanks to Chris in New Zealand for the New Zealand hunting and fishing hat. Still using that. Almost 10 years on. And that's brilliant. A cap when it's raining and snowing just to keep crap out of your eyes. Just to keep the rain out of your eyes. Far better than than uh, any visor or, or, or glasses, sunglasses. It needs to be on because it's so being wet. But the end, the end of a very hard, very hard training week. Um, I feel, yeah, just I've just felt knackered all week. Really have. Haven't felt, you know, this morning's run. I really didn't want to get out of bed to go and run at all. Certainly not when I looked out the window and just saw it was crappy weather. So, um, got this week done. I'm just happy with that. Um, yeah. Have a shower. I think that's it. Have a shower. Freshen up. But I love, love running in the mud. Um, just my feet got totally like sloshy wet by the end. But it's, it's good fun. But then I had to run all the way back town to here so right shower till next week